Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Weebly Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to convert your natural height full screen slider into a custom height full screen slider. Um, in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to install a natural height full screen slider on the home page of your Weebly site. Uh, I will post a link to that previous tutorial in the description of this video. Alright, so this is where we last left off. I installed the natural height full screen slider. And this is what it looks like live. So right now, it's being just the natural height full screen slider. Uh, the height of the sliders is just the natural height of the Weebly slideshow element, element because that is what it, we're using to create the slider here. Now we want to, um, for this tutorial, we want to create a custom height. So we don't want it this big. We want it. We want to make it a lot smaller. So we want the slider probably to come maybe like around halfway, maybe a little less, and have some content come in the bottom here. So, all right, let's get started. So. This is the tutorial in which uh, that showed us how to install a natural height full screen slider into the header of our Weebly site and the instructions for converting the natural height full screen slider into a custom height full screen slider are at the bottom of this tutorial. All right, and here we go. All right, custom height slider. Okay, so all we need to do is just add uh, three bits of coding here. Um, and then we need to change those bits of coding to the height at which we want our slider to be. And I will show you how to do that. So uh, with these three bits of coding here, so we'll start with the first one. We're going to copy the orange code and we're going to paste this coding right into the CSS coding that we added from step to step four of the previous tutorial. So copy this coding, this is the first bit of coding. We're gonna head back to the Weebly editor Go to theme at the top, edit HTML forward slash CSS, CSS at the bottom. Click on your CSS file. Scroll down and find the hashtag slider. We're going to paste this guy right in here. Grab the second bit of coding. And we're going to install that right in this area as well. Nice. And then the third and final bit coding to install. Uh, and that's going to go here. Okay, so right under this coding that we added from step four of the previous tutorial. Okay, so this is the coding that's going to give us um, a, a custom height for the slider. Now, what? Um, how do you change the height of your custom slider? Let me show you. So if you see on the coding we copied, each bit of coding has the number 30 in it. And right next to the 30 is, are the letters VH. So what this stands for is 30% uh, of the viewport, viewport height. Let me show you on the live demo site. So right now, this entire area that which you can see the full screen slider is called the viewport. And obviously from top to bottom is the height. So that's that would be the viewport height, the viewport height. So if you see in the coding here, it's 30. So it's 30% of the viewport height. So right now, the coding I installed is at 30% viewport, viewport height. So that means if I were to publish this, I'm going to click Save. Click Publish. And this slider should convert to about 30%, its height should convert to about 30% of the viewport height. No, exactly 30% of the viewport height. Refresh, and there you go. So you can see that, there's the content area. That's now visible, the viewport. Okay, now let's say I wanted to make this uh, slider 70%. What would I do? That's right, just go back into the Weebly editor. Right, back to the HTML, CSS editor, back into your CSS file. And just change the number of the coding of the code we just copied from 30. And you've got to do this three times because we copied three bits of coding, remember. Oh, sorry, the scroller on my mouse is over. So we'll change this one from 30 to 70. That's the first one. Second one, change from 30 to 70. And the last one will change from 30 to 70. Save. Click publish. 
go to the live site and refresh this. It should occupy 70% of the viewport right now, and it does. All right, guys. There's the slider working just fine, and there's our content area. All right, so that is how you convert your natural height full screen slider to a custom height full screen slider in your Weebly site.